in the Alamo, there was a time that the Constitution of 1824 flew above Texas. Citizens were loyal to the nation of Mexico. Citizens had a constitution that guaranteed them some rights also. Then something happened. Santa Ana <laughs> took over and said, forget the constitution of 1824 that was proudly displayed on the flag that flew all over Texas. As Santa Ana came to Texas to take revenge on the Texians, the flag had to come down and get moved to a safer location. The flag had to come down. Don't let me... As Santa Ana and his army advanced, the Texians knew there would have to be a stand. They wanted Santa Ana to look out and see what they stood for. The Texians retreated to the Alamo. Observed the Texians throughout San Antonio and the surrounding area going into the Alamo. It's playing right now. Can you still post it in part? Yeah. If you just stop the recording. In the Alamo, the flag that had flown all over the, the uh, state of Cohila, Texas, was put up to send a message to Santa Ana. We as Texians will honor the government as stated in the Constitution of 1824. So they took the flag down from the nearby flagpole in San Antonio and put it on the Alamo, very visible to Santa Ana. The Alamo was manned by a few Texans. 186 is the number by most accounts. As the Alamo defenders looked above the Alamo wall, they had something to say about the approaching Mexican army. They said, we're all going to die. What you see now is the approaching Mexican army. Obviously, there's far more Mexicans than there are Texians in the Alamo. Well, the first few days go by and things seem to be okay. Food arrives. Food arrives. As the days went by, some of the fighting stopped. The Alamo defenders got hungry and help came. Help came in the way of 90 bushels of corn and 20 cows. The Alamo defenders were very happy. The Alamo defenders were very happy to get the food. As happens in military battles, a big army will see how strong the defenders are in the in the uh, fort. Mexico sent a small platoon to see how strong they were. The Alamo defenders showed they had cannon fire and plenty of bullets. Then Mexico sent a second platoon to see how strong they were on that side. And once again, the streak was evident. The Mexican army talked about this among themselves. And they said, I'm mad because they have already killed some of our friends in the other platoon. We have more than they have. And at some point, Santa Ana gives the famous command, Attack!
as the battle raged, every last Alamo defender died. Every last Alamo defender died. And as the flag is draped in a haphazard manner showing defeat, the moral of the story is defeat did not occur. Eventually, at the Battle of San Jacinto, the sacrifices of these brave soldiers indicated and the Republic of Texas would, would exist because of the Texians defeating Santa Ana and its army at the Battle of San Jacinto. Closure of the Alamo reenactment as presented by the Mullen Junior High 7th grade class.